and I've won to come to for another video review. This time we have Kaplan's Kuzetsky Bar. Um, <laughs> I was I was a bit unsure I'd be able to pronounce this correctly, but I think I have. Um, since it's a Polish bar, which explains the, um, the difference by the unusual English names. Um, I'm really sure I stumbled upon this actually. I was doing some, I was trying out um, sort of having my shopping delivered for a change from the supermarket. I've never done it before and I've never done it since. I just thought I'd try it out and uh, I was just browsing the chocolate section and the ice cream section, <laughs> uh, as I wanted to do. Um, and basically found this bar and I thought, well, why not? You know, I've not seen it in the shop myself. Um, so I don't know whether it's something they just have in the main warehouse or whatever, but uh, yeah, basically, this is how I found it. That's how I stumbled upon it. It looks very nice. I'm very much into my Kit Kats and um, you know, timeouts um yeah, God rest us all. <laughs> and uh, you know, so really it looked at right up my streets to be honest with you. So um yeah, I didn't see any other bars by the same company. Um so um, you know, I'll happily try some others, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll keep an eye out. Depending on how I like this of course. <laughs> Mind you, to be honest with you, it's not I'm here to review all bars whether I like them or not. So um but yeah, there's always um explanations in Polish as to what it is. Of course I'm not even gonna attempt to read it. I think I've more than enough value <laughs> saying that, <laughs> Guzetsky, uh, which I hope is right. I do apologise profusely if it's not. But fortunately, it has the English on the other side as well, so I'm um, in luck there. Uh, so basically, chocolate coated wafer bar with cocoa cream. And uh, there you go, I presume that's what it looks like. So very nice. Um, yeah, there you go. It's got a couple of kids on the front there as well. So I guess it's aimed at kids. Um, not a normal thing, yeah, in, in English bars these days, I don't think. You don't really get sort of kids on chocolate bars anymore, do you? I think maybe there's some kind of, you know, if it's, if it's a bit of a thing they don't do anymore because there's, there's been so much crackdown on uh, and advertising during kids' programmes and things here. Just don't really sort of get kids on chocolate anymore, which I've not really noticed before until I saw that. So, um, yeah, an interesting one. Um does give uh, calories exactly per portion, so it's 36 gram bar. So we have 188 calories, 10 grams of fat, 6.3 weight of saturates. So we have exactly what it is, which is really good. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, it's funny actually, the British greens come before, the British details come before the uh, Polish one here. Might, might just be an alphabetical thing, but um, it's a bit strange. Yeah, so it says it make it take uh, hazelnuts and peanuts. So there we go. But yeah, it's very nice. It's got a bit of uh, flourishes on the side, so we'll. It's quite a big bar though, but I mean, I guess wafer is mainly air, so wafer bars too tends to be quite big. I've done quite a few wafer bars lately. I did um, Phasers Kismet last week, I've been doing a few Kit Kats as well lately. Yeah, so with the flourish, it's 17 and a half centimetres. 17 and a half centimetres, yeah, so. Okay, I think, uh, I think it looks quite nice. I quite like the packaging. I like the, uh, so maybe the kids do look a bit out of place. They're very cartoony. The rest of it doesn't really have that cartoony look, so. I don't know, maybe it's just a feature they have with all their chocolate, I'm not sure, but um, yeah. But overall, I think it looks quite nice. I think it looks very nice. It's coming out of the chocolate there like that. It's very nice. Um, I don't know what that actually, if it means anything, or it's just a brand, I don't know. Um, all in all, yeah, it's uh, quite nice. Okay, so let's give it an open. Yeah, so it looks, does remind me, it just, does look very reminiscent of the uh, Phase of Kismet bars, I have to say. Um, it's milk chocolate, isn't it? So it's chocolate covered wafer, chocolate coated wafer, so I think it's milk chocolate, but it doesn't actually specifically say it. So if I can find out, of course, typically not as easy now, isn't it? Uh, it just says chocolate. <laughs> uh, Yeah, it just says chocolate basically. Um, it's got a cocoa bottom thing, so I don't know. Maybe it's just it's not quite milk chocolate, but it's been made into milk chocolate. Perhaps I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. It does have a nice look to it. it looks a bit darkish, I think you'd say, but um, <laughs> dropped it there. Um, but maybe milky as well. It's just quite a thin layer of chocolate, and you can see how thin it is actually by the way the wafer's coming through. So very thin layer of chocolate. Yeah, let's give it a measure. So it was 17 and a half, wasn't it? So we're I'm dropping everything today. Sorry about that. Um, so now we're down to right, we're down to 13.7 now. So we've lost a lot of 13.7, 30.8. Yeah, lost a lot there. So we've got four centimeters or something. It seems quite more than I was expecting. Uh, Width-wise, it's slightly wide at the bottom. Um, only just though, just because of the way the chocolate flattens. So it's about four point, about four. 
1.1 centimeters wide and height wise about 1.3 something like that so you can see there it's actually coming to split and you can see that split there like one of the wafer layers is splitting away so you know, quite like things like that it's quite interesting you know <laughs> I, try, I try and manipulate that some normally but uh, yeah there we go so it's a very thin layer, thin chocolate layer um, so let's give it a bit of a snap and see so it snaps quite well mm. that's quite nice it does pretty much look pretty identical to the uh, to the bar pretty much I mean the past said the chocolates a bit less pronounced, um, but it's still visibly there. So, um, maybe the way is a bit swirly in reality. It's got sort of ridges, hasn't it? So, that's probably just to help the chocolate funnel down. Perhaps I'm not sure. But overall, yeah, I think it looks pretty similar. I've probably let it off that. I think. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think uh, I think there's nothing left to do but to give it a taste. <laughs> so let's go for it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It's very much a dark chocolate taste actually. But so there's not much chocolate there, so it's only slight. Um mm. it's very nice actually, yeah. And the um the wafer doesn't taste just like wafer. Um like the Kismet the face of Kismet bars, which is probably a direct comparison really to this. Uh, they taste more like having just wafer. Um, so you taste like eating a plain wafer from, I mean you have just wafers, you have some ice cream between it or like a cornet um, with ice cream inside. You know, you can taste that wafer, it just tastes very plain. This one doesn't have that taste. It's possibly because there's so much chocolate cream around it which didn't seem to be as, as prominent in the uh, the phaser bars. I'm not sure, but um, definitely doesn't taste just a wafer. It tastes a bit more like Kit Kat where you're, where the wafer just has a crunch but doesn't have a sort of plain wafer taste. But it's very much a dark chocolate. Um, it's very much a dark chocolate, yeah. I mean, it definitely has that dark chocolate taste. But I'd say it's quite, it is prominent actually, but it's not a massive um, part of the bar because it's only a thin layer around the edge of the dark chocolate. Um, and the inside's like a cream. It's not, a, it's not chocolate on the inside. Um, mm. It's very nice actually. Mm. I like it a lot. It's um, I say, if you don't like dark chocolate, you might be put off by it, and it just it is very much a bitter dark chocolate around the edges. It is quite pronounced, which is surprising because you know how thin the layer of chocolate is, but which is good in a way. Um, I would like to try a milk chocolate version. I think I probably would prefer it because I generally do prefer milk chocolate, but I say it does give that nice little bitter kick. Hmm. I very much like the um, the wafer. It gives a real good crunch. I think the, the wafer's better than the Kismet bar from Phaser. Phaser's Kismet bar. Phaser are a Finnish company, by the way. Um, um, just because it feels a bit more... Um, it just doesn't taste just a plain wafer. It has. I don't know what it is that's been done to it, or whatever, and the sugar's been added or something, or it's just a chocolate cream. Hmm. I'm not sure, but um, it does work, but... Other than that, it's quite plain. The cocoa cream in the middle, um, I'd say that might be what makes the wafer taste slightly different. Um, it's not too prominent. The main taste really is the dark chocolate. It is quite surprising how strong that taste is. Um, got some wafer on its own here. Hmm. Yeah, definitely doesn't quite taste just a wafer. I think maybe the chocolate or something seeped into it, or I'm not sure really. But it's nice. It's not over, you know, it's not a massive taste to it, but it's not just a plain wafer taste. So overall, I do like this actually. It's um, it sort of swings around about something. Is just a bit because I think there's not a massive amount of flavour in there, um, compared to say the the phaser the phaser kismet bars, which have different flavours like mint or um, um, yeah, what was the one they did? I think it was caramel. I think the orange actually orange flavour. Yeah, that that I'd reviewed. Um, whereas this one, you know, the flavour really is just a dark chocolate. And there you go, look at. It's dying to do that. <laughs> you can take the layer off. Um, so there we go. So you can see actually, uh, you can see really, can't you, that there's kind of, you know, there's that cream layer there. There's the wafer. And there's the cream that's been applied to it. So the wafer is quite thin. That's probably why it doesn't really taste much of, of wafer, because there's so much of the cream between it. 
And then you can see it all there. Yeah, that big gap. So yes. So I think that works wonders actually. But yeah, I think the main flavour really is just a dark chocolate flavour. Um, hmm. No, I do um but I do like this a lot. As I say, perhaps just uh let's say if you're a fan of dark chocolate, I think this is definitely for you in wafer, of course. Hmm. It's probably like a very big dark chocolate Kit Kat. I'm using the gist of it. Yeah. I think it works really well. Let's see what other flavours they do with this, if they do any. Uh, if not, they should. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think overall, I think a three and a half, a low four out of five, I think. You know, just because it's a bit underwhelming. Um, I think just because there's no special flavour there or anything. And the um, chocolate's quite thin. You know. But um, it does a really good job of being a dark chocolate wafer, but it really does taste like that. And I think if you love dark chocolate and wafer, this will probably be a five out of five for you. But um, I mean, for me, I'm going to say three and a half out of five. Well, a low four out of five, I think. A low four out of five. Um, <clears throat> I do like it, just a bit unremarkable. I think I'd probably prefer other wafer bars, really, than this, but um, I do still like it. So, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and hello to everyone in Poland, if you're watching as well. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the review. Sorry if I didn't do it just this or pronounced it wrong or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> I do apologise. <laughs> Okay, everyone, hope you enjoyed that review. Take care, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, like my videos, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again, everyone. Take care. Bye for now. See ya.